Hey you guys, hi. It's Mary White, the Cooking with Cannabis Lady. And today, again, I wanna to talk to you about CBD. But what we're doing today is some recipes from my cookbook. And this one, green olive shortbread. Now I've been talking to you for a while now about CBD, uh, you know, cannabidiol, which is one of the components in cannabis that really helps, um, helps homeostasis, helps you feel better, helps you get well, but at the same point, you don't get high. And it's great for a lot of people who don't want, you know, any kind of psychoactive effect, right? So, um, I, there's a couple of videos that I've done about hemp oil and hemp butter. And hemp, of course, is where we get our CBD, okay? And it's hemp because it has less than 0.3% THC. You're not gonna get high, you're just gonna feel good. So, in this recipe, this green olive shortbread, I wanted to show you guys um, ways to use cannabis that are, um, well, just delicious and healthy and normal. You know what I mean? So this, this is how you start this recipe. And I do half and half, half medicated butter, you know, CBD butter, and half regular butter. Now, if you really need a lot of relief, or if you just love the flavor, use a cup, use the whole cup. But um, I find a lot of times some people are starting out, it, it's a little vegetal, okay? So, this olive shortbread, here's what you do. First of all, of course, you have greased your baking pan because you're cool like that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna blend the room temperature butter and this brown sugar until they're really, really, really incorporated and smooth, okay? So we're beating, we're beating. <laughs> I just want you all to know, I'm not naturally a baker. You know how some people are bakers? Um, baking kind of pisses me off because, <laughs> you know, when they say like an eighth of a teaspoon of freaking whatever, I just want to go, mm. but anyway, I have made myself learn how to bake because, well, there's just some really good edibles you can make. So you can see as this is starting to get blended, you want it really light and really fluffy. So take it a little bit further than this, okay? Go for a while. It's usually about, um, about two or three minutes to do this. All right, so there. See, that's not hard. It's not, you know, the scary kind of baking like on the Great British freaking baking show. This is more like I can handle it. Then what we're gonna do, you gotta always scrape down your sides, but see how that's really fluffy? That's what you want. You want fluffiness, all right? Gently, 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 we're going to add in flour and a little bit of salt. Um, in all of your baked goods, whether they're savory or sweet, always put in a little bit of salt. Because, especially with, with sweet things, if all it is is sweet, it's too sweet, you know? You need that contrast. Now notice, I did not put all the flour in at once. This is a slower process, right? If you put it all in at once, it's just gonna go all over the damn kitchen. So don't do that. So a little bit, kind of blendy, blendy, right? See how it's starting to come together? And then you just kind of keep going, adding the flour. Um, I'm normally a real big fan of, you know, whole food, um, whole wheat, whole brown rice, all that stuff, but I have found again in my baking adventures, that sometimes you really just do need white flour. I'm gonna tell you guys though, that there is unbleached white flour, which is better than the bleached, and there's even, um, there's even a whole wheat pastry flour, which is really close in texture to white flour, and you still get a little bit more of the nutrition from the whole wheat. But sometimes you just gotta go with the standards. So, you're gonna mix, Get this all mixed, right? And then, ooh, there we go. So here's where it gets really, really cool. This is really crumbly, but this is what you want in a shortbread. Shortbread is all about the short, about the shortening, about the delicious fats, right? There we go. Oops. So this is gonna be really crumbly and kind of weird looking. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, okay? Because what we get to do now, we get to practice our knife skills, kids. Um, 
The great thing about this recipe is the green olives. Mm. Because they give so much flavor, right? And you're, you're looking at shortbread and you're kind of anticipating something sweet. And then you bite into it and it's like salty and spicy and buttery. Shut the front freaking door. It is important, however, that your olives are really dry. Um, I've had these in, uh, you know, sitting out for about a day, but there's still a little bit of dampness. Okay, so now they're all, they're all dry. And we can practice our knife skills now, you guys. I would really suggest every time you use your knives, um, if you haven't sharpened them, this is a sharpener, sharpen. And if you've sharpened recently, it's always a good idea to use your steel just to kind of take off any little burrs, make it really nice and sharp. So, this is so fun. Olive time. Now these are stuffed with garlic and jalapenos because that's how I roll. Uh, you can use pimento stuffed. You could use calamatas. You could use the oil cured. Just make sure that there are obviously no pits and um, mince them really fine. Ideally, every single square of this delicious buttery thing should have a little bit of olive in it. See how we've got a pretty consistent size on these olive bits, right? They're all kind of, no big chunks, little chunks, okay? So that's what you wanna do. I'm stressing again, please remember to drain your olives. Now we just got a big old bowl of green weirdness here, but Trust me when I tell you, it bakes up beautifully. It really does. All that butter. Oh, yeah. So we're going to put this in our greased nine by nine pan. If you want them thinner, you can do a nine by 13, um, but it does make quite a thin shortbread, depending on how you want to use them too. Um, I'm not going to lick my fingers. I'm going to try and be professional. <laughs> okay, this, all goes in here. Bye-bye. Okay, come on, you guys. Now, again, I know it looks really crumbly and stuff, but if you guys could touch this, it feels kind of like flowery velvet uh, because there's so much fat in here. And don't be as scared of fat, by the way. It is our friend, you know, the good fats, the avocados and the olives and all those things. Good for us. So. Pat it down, and I mean pat it down. Get it in there, okay? Now you see how this is gonna be a real thick, delicious, I'm gonna say cookie, but it's not really a cookie, right? Because it's, it's, let's call it a biscuit. Okay, so we put that in there. And one thing I have learned, my friends, is you always need to poke, you need to poke your shortbread, because otherwise it'll buckle up, It'll, oop, right? And then it's weird. So I'm gonna press it down one more time, just really sure. And then, <laughs> oops, hang on. See how you gotta pat it down like that. This is gonna let the air escape so you don't get that big bubble. Plus, I love um, making little designs, damn it, with the fork. This is, a, you guys can see how sometimes little bits are coming up. That's why you gotta really make sure that the olives are little. All right, this is gonna go in a 350 oven for half an hour. When it comes out, don't get excited because you're good. It's gonna smell really good, get all buttery and shit. Calm down because <laughs> if you cut it before it's really cooled, it'll just crumble. So we're going in the oven for half an hour. There we go. Bye-bye, shortbread. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, see you. Go ahead. So, our green olive shortbread is out of the oven. And you notice, too, it's a little bit brown around the edges. That's the best way to tell on this because um, it doesn't get real dark. Okay, but if you see that brown, you know you're okay. Look at that. Oh man. Okay, and then I always like the corners because I think the butter <laughs> kind of congregates in the corners. Now, but you can see 
These aren't quite cold enough yet, so I'm getting a little bit of crumbliness on the knife, but that's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, see what happens? Yeah, they're still a little bit too warm, you guys. So rather than haul this out and have it crumble, I'm just gonna say, make sure and let them cool. <laughs> and then you'll have some really good bars. <laughs> Enjoy your shortbread, you guys. I'll see you next time. Oh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You guys, it's Mary White. And I wanna thank you for watching my videos. And of course, you've liked, shared, and subscribed. Have you bought my damn book yet? Um, this is a CBD cookbook for beginners. Amazon has your copy. And if I do say so myself, it's really good. Thanks, you guys. See you.